I just got home from the gym. And Here I am popping straight in right away uh, to share the clip that I grabbed from the gym. It's a short clip. Not going to talk about it that much, but I know sometimes uh, I get messages that it's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for sharing. It really motivated me. So here you go if you're needing some gym motivation. I do share more on Instagram, but uh, you know what it's all about? Just moving your body, even, even if it's calisthenics, okay? That means like body weight exercises or just walking. It improves so much. And I'm starting to make breakfast. So I saw this in the fridge and I've been neglecting it for way too long. Like way too, is this still good? I don't know, I know hooch is normal, but is that a little too dark? That one actually smells like a fermentation. This one, however, is without the hooch, which is the liquid on top. And this one smells like a science experiment. So, I don't know. I went in here, this is the most exciting part. Okay, I know my fridge is open. I went in here to get the flour I store it in here to like feed my sourdough. It's been weeks. Guess what I found? Do I need to make breakfast? Do I need to make eggs? Do I need to make something healthy when I really have these hiding in my pantry? What's the date on these? Well, they're expired, but I feel like they feel fine and they look fine. Always hoarding away the treats. Am I supposed to pour this out or mix it in? Do I dump out the hoot? Then I saw someone else do it. Your they, your choice. Okay, I'm gonna stir it in. And those, that's my inner dialogue. <laughs> so if you were wondering too, I saw someone else do it the other day where they dumped the hooch out and I don't know, I, I, I was wondering if that was the right thing to, apparently you could do either or, I decided to mix it in. So this specific day, what am I making with the sourdough? Oh, I'm just, I'm literally like feeding the starter. Okay, I was cleaning out the jar and stuff, but today, you know what I did? Uh, any guesses, any guesses? I made two loaves, well, it's rising right now, and I'm making some pretzels. So really excited about that. Always trying to find new recipes with sourdough. I didn't film any of it. I guess if it turns out well, I can always make it again. But uh, English muffins are another favorite to make with sourdough. It's super simple, easy to throw together. And if you're wondering about sourdough, if you are wanting to tip your toe and dip your toe into the sourdough waters, if you will, it's so, like if I can do it, literally, if I can do it, you can do it kind of thing. It's so simple. Don't think about it too much because then you'll think yourself right out of it. Just do it. It's really easy. Get a sourdough starter off of Facebook Marketplace or something. You can buy the, like, you know what? I think King Arthur actually sells a live sourdough starter on their website. I almost got it, and it's pretty reasonably priced. I want to say like $15 around that price point. So if you're wondering, like, if you don't want to put all the work involved into, like, feeding it every day and doing that, get the live starter from King Arthur online and... No skill involved at all, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> it's so simple. And does the bread really taste superior? I don't know, maybe. But, but it's a fun process to just to know that you made your own bread. It's like, wow, you know, living back in the olden days and stuff. But this is the sourdough. I let it sit. This is the next day, you know, 20 hours or so. It's already starting to fall and maybe less than 20 hours, but it doesn't matter. Uh, nice and bubbly, active. This is what I used this morning to start my breads and pretzels. Okay, I made breakfast. I kept the superior sourdough, and for whatever reason, I have a hard time letting go of things, and <laughs> I kept also the discard sourdough. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this, but I just, I don't know why I couldn't throw it in the garbage. For breakfast, I just made like the egg sandwiches with Canadian bacon, Frank's killer bread, muffins, and like eggs, and that's it. Also cheese. Also, I hate a runny egg. Ugh, and mine was like slopping all over the place. I had to give some of it to Alex. Oh my gosh, I just heard my dryer go off. I went to the thrift store and I got this really amazing, oh, well, it's a little damp. It's a comfort, I'm just gonna move it around. I've been trying to dry this thing. I washed it this morning. It smells fantastic. I sanitized it. Do you see this? Amazing comforter I got from the thrift store. Listen, one time we were having a guest come stay with, oh, right when uh, Wolfgang was born. And so I think it was like one of the first, we were having a few guests come 
And so we wanted to buy like a comforter set for them. So Alex was in charge of that and he spent literally an arm and a leg on a comforter. And then last time he came to the thrift store with me, he was like, oh, you mean to tell me all this time I could have been spending $10 on a comforter? I'm like, yes. This is why we thrift. Hey, remember? Oh, you can't even see it. Pretend like nothing is there. Anyway, I'm going to um, kind of give Meredith's room a little facelift today. Nothing crazy. Mostly because I don't have any like big plans. Oh, it's a little echoey in here. Actually, the weather is great, so I'm just gonna pop the door open. Oh my gosh, this weather. We went to the beach. I think uh, you saw that was the last video. And it was like the perfect beach day. And then the day after, freezing. Well, for Floridians, okay? Freezing cold means 60 degrees. It is spring after all. But for her room, I'm going to like make her bed because we have a lot of things happening this week specifically. And then of course Easter's coming. So we're gonna have a lot of people like in and out of here. They're gonna want, well, some of them are going to want to see the addition. And so on their way, of course, they're gonna pop in. Do you know what I mean? Like people just do that. And right now she has nothing on her bed. She has no sheets. I have no sheets for her. I have now that like we got a mattress for her. I guess that's step one. <laughs> I mean, we have like blankets on it, but so I'm trying to set it up for her one thing at a time because today I do want to get some things solidified for Wolfgang's bedroom too. I feel like I have almost everything I need to do his room completely. So I keep saying that, but I think I'm putting it off because I'm like, this is a big task. Parent track cookies. Have you heard of them? I'm mega excited to make those and I'm going to share with that my most famous most beloved cookie recipe like chocolate chip cookie recipe i feel like it's been years since i've shared it and we are in need of i mean i can't remember last time i made them they're so dang good oh the spring planter i want to do that but i'm still needing a couple of things we might run to tj maxx i don't really know homemade granola bars sure why not homemade pudding mix i bought milk for it it's a go i might run to lowe's when we're off also avelina has something later this evening with her school and then eleanor is staying after I have to pick her up and then there's a time frame and then Wentworth is staying like slightly after that so um, I have just a few hours to get this stuff done and then I feel like my day is pretty much over as far as being productive because I will then have to lend myself over to my children do you want to see Meredith's room as it looks in the current state oh so we're gonna tidy this up for her and yeah, <laughs> I don't, listen, it wouldn't be so bad if this mattress wasn't in the way. We have no use for this. We've just been keeping it because the kids are having fun jumping. Okay, just leave them alone. Let them be little. Also, I was looking at my Amazon orders. I have a lot of orders coming in today. I have a couple of car seats because I don't want to talk about it. I ordered some stuff for Easter. I ordered just, I got a lot coming in, but most importantly, I have like, worm silicone worms because i want to make electrolyte worms with elements i have i only have a couple left of my favorite flavor and i don't know if i want to waste my favorite flavor on gummy worms the first go around i don't know how much i'm going to love them so i'm going to figure that out what's the first thing i'm going to make i don't know but speaking of let's hydrate a little wet the dishwasher's open i have dishes all over the sink up here i'm kind of in a state of paralysis I'm like there are so many things i need to just uh, decide what the most important thing is and obviously <coughs> it's Oreo cookies. Clearly Parent Trap movie night is in the works because how can you eat these cookies and not watch the movie or watch the movie while you're making them? I feel like I've never heard of these cookies and I don't know why it's not a thing. Hopefully they're as amazing as I think they're gonna be. So I just am pulling out everything I need to make the cookie dough. I have to get the recipe, it's been a while since I made them. But the add-ins for this, just so it's like flour, sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, I'll get the rest of it. But the add-in, oh I grabbed some chips in there too because I just saw them and they look really good. These are just to munch on, but the add-ins are Oreos and peanut butter. But then the secret ingredient to my cookie dough is pudding. Just like vanilla pudding packet in the small box. I looked high and low for the best recipe you're ever going to need, add it to your catalog, screenshot this, put it in your photo album under must make immediately. Uh, and that's how good it is. Even if you don't do the add-ins and make this parent trap edition, just make the cookies. Oh, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Am I gonna double this batch? 
because my favorite thing is freezing the cookie dough, like scooping it into balls on a sheet tray, freezing it, and then when they're flash frozen after an hour or two, you take the balls and throw them in a Ziploc bag. Salmonella, I dare you, because the whole family just takes the cookie dough out of the bag of, in the freezer and they just eat it. It is such a delight. That's it. But for now, I don't wanna get off track. Here is everything that you need to make the cookies. So baking soda, brown sugar, flour, white flour, jello, well, it's not jello, it's vanilla pudding mix, two eggs, which by the way, they redid their packaging, wow. Some chocolate chips, a cup of those, two sticks of butter, Vanilla, and if you want any more add-ins like uh, walnuts or anything, but obviously today we're doing Parent Trap Edition, Oreos and peanut butter. I'm gonna throw in 15 Oreo cookies. Normally that would be one entire sleeve, but did you know that for the party of seven we got going on over here every day, they sell a party-sized pack of Oreos? I just thought that was funny. Not only was it on sale at Publix, uh, it made me laugh, so. Anyway, have you been seeing Lindsay Lohan like everywhere these days? She's promoting something. I don't even care what because it just makes me happy seeing her like doing press and stuff. And obviously her movies are so iconic. I'm sorry, Parent Trap, Freaky Friday, is there another one coming out? Mean Girls? And that was all within like the same year those came out, I'm just kidding. Can't forget about Life Size. That's probably the greatest movie ever made. It's with Tyra Banks and then Herbie Fully Loaded. She did a lot of remakes. Has she done anything good since then? I don't know, let her rip. I'm not gonna completely smash it. Oh, I may have even gone overboard on that. I don't know why I took that out. I need to add peanut butter. But I do want some chunkier bits in here. You guys, when's the last time we made Oreo balls too? Gosh, I feel like we should just do it all. And then I have the dark black cocoa powder. And then I'm thinking, well, let me just make homemade Oreos, you know? Why, why stop? Anywhere. You know, I've been looking for my trusty Pampered Chef spatula for way too long, and so I just took literally 30 seconds to hunt for it. Found it. Eight ounces of peanut butter I'm going to add. I think that's about a cup. Good enough. And I'm going to add in the Oreos. I don't know if I could just do this all in the food processor, but that's not how I'm doing it, you know? Who else got obsessed with eating Oreos and peanut butter after, after they watched Parent Trap for the first time? <laughs> Okay, well that's good. Just mix it together and I'm going to reserve this over here. And I'm gonna use my KitchenAid to put together the cookie dough. For the cookies, I'm gonna throw in one cup, two sticks of butter. I don't know where my paddle attachment is. Ugh. Oh, you'll never guess where it was. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a nice whip. All right, that's good enough. Kind of unnecessary. You're supposed to just cream the butter and sugar. I always like to give the butter just a little awakening while I get a measuring cup for the sugar. So, three quarters of a cup packed brown sugar. Good. And then one quarter cup of white sugar. Now cream all of that together. Here's the secret ingredient. Packed pudding mix. And I'm gonna do a like DIY homemade pudding mix, but it's for chocolate pudding. I haven't seen one for vanilla. So maybe if you just wanna make some double chocolate chip cookies, that'll be a good one for you. Cause I know not everyone has access to this, especially in other countries, which makes me second guess, like should I even be eating this because America. All right, that's good enough. And then two eggs, plop those in and let that go. Also, a little bit of vanilla, just a splash in there or two splashes or three or four if you're extra. Almost out of her. That's nice and creamy. Now, you could add this in a separate bowl because that's what, I don't know, people who like to do dishes do, but I just add it straight in here. It's two and a quarter cup of flour with one teaspoon of baking soda. And then I just mix it in all the way. Just until it's incorporated. I turn it off like right, there's still a little bit of white specks in there, but this is where I add one cup of chocolate chips and then you have to just incorporate the rest. You can fold this in, but have we met? Good enough. Salmonella, we meet again. So dang good. Sometimes I just think the dough is better than the actual cookie. And then here's the kicker. This is where you fold in the parent trap part, which honestly, am I ruining this? I don't know, we're about to find out. 
hard to ruin perfection, I guess. So let's just incorporate that in real quick. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, taste test again, I suppose. Actual perfection. <laughs> Holy cow. It's like my dream stuff. I could not have ever imagined this cookie dough tasting better, but somehow this was it. This is what I've been waiting for my entire life. My entire life has built for this moment. <laughs> You never know how heavy a kitchen is until you try to waltz with one. Okay, go. Stop. I'm out of breath. Well, it is definitely Amazon day because there is a literal, like the biggest mountain of packages I think I've ever had at my front door right now. And then I had to like, Wolfgang was needing me and all this stuff. So, took a little break. I did preheat the oven, it's almost there. And I threw in the cookie dough in the fridge. Some people swear by this, mostly culinary experts, where you're supposed to let the cookie dough chill. Um, most of the time, it's like, who has time for that? But I guess me. Today, I had time for that. But not really, because it's only been in there for, I don't know, four seconds. I guess I could have done a better job of, inco uh, of incorporating the Oreo mix, but it's like good enough, you know? When I tell you these are my new favorite cookies, <laughs> you guys, okay, so the kids came home, they had some, Alex had some and shared it, he had some people over, and then the kids got home, Avelina had a friend over, and man, I should have made more, I should have doubled the batch or something, good thing I still have some dough in the fridge because I didn't make all of the cookies yesterday, but these were so fantastic, a great swap up from like brownie friday you know to you know it, it's a good parent trap movie night and then alongside you can just have some oreos and peanut butter but jazzed up in a cookie i have placed the cookies in the oven and i'm gonna throw together the homemade pudding mix in case you know you need pudding mix but also Homemade is always better, am I right? Is it or are we just telling ourselves that? Okay, so it starts off. I should get a funnel. I forgot where I put it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't know if this will fit. Will this one work? I have a wide mouth funnel. Where did I? It's got to be around here somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh, crap. If I were a wide mouth funnel, I would be... Ah! I found it! Guess where I was. That's right, the last place I looked. Okay, one cup of the sugar, but also a quarter cup. So, <laughs> a cup and a quarter, one and a quarter cups of sugar. Ooh, similarly, one and a quarter cup of cornstarch which this is interesting. If you have a corn allergy or you're not into cornstarch or gross as you have, I don't know the texture of it. Oh, it's making my whole body cringe right now. Ooh! You can use arrowroot powder. That's a good substitute there. One cup of powdered milk. I bought this for the homemade pancake mix that I made. Did I use that the other day? I, we made pancakes, they tasted great. One cup of this. Oh, is it full? Oh my heck. Oh, don't worry, we, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Oh boy, I didn't think this one through. I need some bigger uh, jars. Apparently. 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 But for now, I'm just gonna pour it in here, which I could have saved myself 10 minutes of time searching for the, oh my gosh. I'm gonna use some of this, so then I'll be able to store it in here, but the rest of the recipe is just half a cup of Le Coco powder. I use Hershey's because Hershey's is superior. Also, I think the cookies are done. Ooh! Nice and golden brown on the outside, just barely golden, but it's soft. Oh gosh, hot chocolate is burning my finger. Soft to the touch. You can let them cool on here, which I'll probably do for a couple of minutes just to let the insides cook a little bit more. Uh, when they're stable enough, I will transfer them to the cooling rack, but for now, oh my heck, they look so good. Back to the pudding. 
She uses a Dutch dough whisk, and uh, well, that's what I'm gonna do. It seems like the most time-consuming option here. I wonder how many ingredients are on the back of an actual like pudding mix. I'm looking for the box that I just had. I'm sure it's more than just these four ingredients that I just used. You know what I mean? But like how many ingredients are in this? Oh, not that many. And then in this, so it's like, you know, pick your poison. So I'm gonna actually make cocoa pudding. And to do that, ah, ugh. I didn't think this through. I need a saucepan. All right, here we go. I didn't buy milk for no good reason. Imagine dragons, anyone? I'm starting off, very simple, right? When you're ready to make it. Two cups. Why is this so awkward to hold? I feel like almond milk isn't this awkward. They, what, they couldn't make the handle one inch larger to fit more fingers to facilitate the weight of this jug? Two cups. I have cow's whole milk. I feel like I've tried to make pudding with almond milk in the past and it just has always been a catastrophe. I'm gonna bring this to a boil first. First things first, I'ma say. Ooh, okay, you see these cookies? Now we can transfer them. It's been a couple of minutes. They're still pretty soft, but they'll harden as they cool down. They're still extremely piping hot, but I've got those chef hands. I can handle the heat. Oh, it, be careful because it bubbles really fast. All right, how are we doing this? This seems a little ridiculous. <laughs> okay, simmer down, simmer down, my friend. So to this, you add a half a cup of the pudding mix. Ooh, okay, that calms things down a little bit. And then I will use my Dutch dough whisk. So two cups of milk, half a cup of pudding mix. Bring it to a boil. Oh, you're supposed to mix it together and then bring it to a boil? Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. Simmer for five to eight minutes? Oh, this is a labor of love. Definitely not instant pudding mix packet kind of thing. Nothing on the homestead ever is, right? I'm not sure if it's been five minutes. I should have set an alarm, but this is looking pretty. It's like thick enough. I'm over it. <laughs> so I have a couple of ramekins I'm gonna pour it in. Growing up, my mom always had like pudding cups, like they were glass cups and for whatever reason, this isn't gonna work, what am I gonna use? We only really use the pudding cups for pudding and I feel like if this becomes a thing, I'm probably going to thrift some pudding cups. Oh my gosh, is it even gonna fill up three? Okay, well, note to self, double the recipe for the plethora of children that you have birthed. I was thinking I was gonna fill this whole thing up. So wait 10 minutes uh, before you put it in the fridge to cool. Obviously mine looks a little chunky monkey because I whisked the pudding mix in after the milk came to a boil. I was gonna say bubble and then I said boil and then it just came out boo. Michael Bublé. Well, just an initial taste test, let's do it. I don't know, I don't like pudding, so this kinda tastes like pudding. <laughs> also a little thick. Okay, not gonna lie, I didn't get to eating the pudding yesterday, like cold, so when the kids come home, I mean, they'll really be the judge of that. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you wanna know the outcome of that, because I'll probably forget by the time the next video is posted to let you know the results. But I'm sure it's fine, like, I mean, how can you really mess up chocolate pudding? And then, oh, these cookies, oh my God. Gosh, the cookies, they're just so good. Or how can you go wrong? Oreos, peanut butter, and chocolate chip cookie? Unless you don't like Oreos or peanut butter, and then just go for the chocolate chip cookie. And that, oh my gosh, just the chocolate chip cookie alone. You're gonna love them. Give them a try. I really think if you like uh, cookies in general, you're gonna like this one. At least I do. It's my favorite recipe. I've tried a hundred different recipes. I always come back to this one. Look at the inside. People do this online and I'm like, mm, I don't really understand, but here I am doing it for you. <laughs> nice and thick. All right, thin. I think this blanket is going to get as dry as it's going to get. Man, it smells great. I need to get the sheets too. I got the sheets, some pillows, and I bought her some new throw pillows too. Did I drop one on the way in here? Got a pink one, I thought that was cute. And then I found this adorable thing. And I just know Meredith is gonna love that. She's so cute. I think someone crocheted her dress. Oh my gosh, and she has bloomers on. So adorable. I also found this. Can you even? <laughs> 
I couldn't leave her behind. Just take a peek at her. She's so unique, so beautiful. Definitely homemade. I found this sticker at the bottom and I just thought, oh my gosh, my heart would break if she ended up in the landfill. This is why I love going thrifting. You find unique pieces like that. I can't go to the store and buy this. I love her. Oh, I'm just gonna tidy up in here. So she come, when Meredith comes home, she's gonna be like, what? Uh, just a little facelift, if you will. I think she's gonna like it. Spoiler alert, she did in fact like it, slash love it, slash wanted more of it. And even um, Eleanor came in her room and she was like, oh my gosh, I was so excited. So I know the kids are like chomping at the bit to have all of their stuff ready and their rooms completed. And is anything actually ever complete? Like, yeah, I want my room to be complete, I guess, but we'll get there all in good timing. I was like, you guys just moved rooms, even though it's been like, I don't know, a month or maybe more. All in good time. It takes me a while to like, yeah, I just got the office done. And the searching for things, you know, just unique items online is what I like to do online or at, at antique stores. Of course, I could go the easy route and just get like all new furniture and all new stuff and Amazon next day shipping. You know what I mean? Like that, that would probably take a lot of load off. But I like those special things, unique things, thrifted things. I, I don't know. I think it just makes it feel homier it makes it it gives it a little bit more character by the way I found that basket at the thrift store the same thrift trip that I just went I literally went for bedding and I ended up finding that basket and a couple things for the kid the older kids Easter basket so I'm so excited about that but I mean what else did I find that's pretty much it. Stuff for the kid. Mostly bedding. It took up so much. Oh, hangers. I found so many hangers. Oh, it was like a secret stash of hangers. Like the velvet hangers. And they were purple. And I said, oh, Eleanor's going to love these. So she was, one, needing more hangers. And two, she has the plastic ones. So I thought we'd upgrade them. Because, uh, you know, her clothes and stuff are constantly slipping off of them. Which, I mean, obviously there are worse things in life. But if I found them secondhand and they're a really good price, I was like, yeah. That was another great find. So always finding great, gen you never know what you're going to find at the thrift store, right? So I was happy to find this bedding too, which by the way, is a twin size. I don't know if I shared that with you before. If I, it was my big worry. I picked it up and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is a twin size. <laughs> I was hoping I was wrong, but, um, you know, in the store, it's just so hard to tell. And I do carry a measuring tape, but do you know how difficult it is to measure a sheet like by yourself? Like, how do I do it? Do I hold it? You know what I mean? So it's just a whole process. So it fit kind. It's like if it zips, it fits kind of situation. It's like sausage casing for the bed. But you know what? For now, it's good enough. And I mean, I could always get her new sheets or whatever, but these were actually really special. I don't know what kind of material it was, but it felt really great quality. I also forgot the brand, but the brand of the comforter is oh gosh now I forgot Ashley something Ashley and I looked it up online and it's actually vintage oh my gosh the cat which by the way Meredith loved the cat I was you know it's 50 50 I wasn't sure if she was gonna love it or be scared or terrified she loved the doll so much she like carried it around with her all day she is very much in love with the doll and equally in love with the cat and when Eleanor came in yesterday she, I showed her the cat and, and of course, I mean, who wouldn't love that cat? Come on. That's a special find. And I was just so happy that I was able to bring it home and everyone's happy about it too. So as soon as Meredith saw it, she was happy and she was like, what should we name them? What's her name? You know, so all of that good stuff. And I, it just fills my heart with so much joy. But anyway, the comforter is a vintage gem. I had no idea. I just thought it was like a floral find, you know? I might pull that tag off of it because uh, it's like, who am I? I used to never pull tags off things. and now, But I also don't want to pull the tag off because, oh, by the way, speaking of tags pulling off, the rug, as soon as we put the bed in that situation, I knew I wanted to move it. But I, um, Alex put these like rug grippers on so the rug doesn't move around all over tarnation. And I was kind of worried it was going to ruin the floors. I didn't really know how to remove them so I ended up just taking a scraper and pulling it off this way and it came up like magic her floors definitely needed a good cleaning 
I couldn't find my broom, so I came in with the vacuum, and then I ended up coming in with the Bissell Crosswave, which kind of like sweeps, mops, and vacuums all in one fell swoop. And the vacuum was really just like throwing all the dust around, so I knew I needed more than that. And some of the spots you'll see is just leftover gunk from when Eleanor, my artist, was living in here. So it wasn't too long ago that she was in here, and I need to just take a scrub brush to the floors and get the rest of that paint up. But there are like little specks of paint everywhere and it's fine. It will get to it eventually. Listen, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will my house be decorated in one <laughs> or maybe a year or two. It's all in good time. I have the rest of my life to decorate my house, but I feel like I'm making good strides and I'm so happy that I was able to get something done in here. If not, just like give it a good cleaning before we have like a ton of people in and out of our house over the next couple of weeks. So of course, like, you know, before we have people over, we're going to have to tidy up before then too. But I just wanted to show you how disgusting the floors were. Ooh, this Bissell Crosswave is actually my favorite. I feel like I don't talk about it enough anymore, but if you're looking for a good cleaner, cause I know everyone's talking about the, um, Oh, Tinco. I think that that's one brand. There's also another brand that people are raving about online. I feel like this one is a better price point and I just love it. I It's easily accessible. I don't know. It's the one that I have. It's the one that I like. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. And I just ended up getting it and I really enjoy it. So I've moved on to her closet, which is actually where most of my attention was needed. So the bottom basket are is full of clean clothes and the top basket is they're her dirty laundry. So I dumped her dirty laundry in the wash. We'll get to that. And then the basket in the back, the green basket, which is actually Avelina's old laundry basket. <laughs> so many baskets. That is full of her dress up. I'm trying to come up with a solution for her dress up. Oh, and I, I found hangers for Meredith's clothes at the thrift store too. Some velvet hangers, some plastic hangers, but she was definitely in need of some more um, hangers for her bedroom. And uh, I think they were like a dollar for however many I got. So great find there too. And it just made it so much nicer. So eventually I want to put more storage in here for her, but that will come with good time. And then also like a little dress up station. I don't know how, what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out as time goes on. But for now, I'm happy that it's all clean. <laughs> Step okay, one. Okay. The big reveal. So cute. Right? I am in love with this bedding. I know she's going to be excited when she sees obviously a clean room and like bedding, <laughs> but would she rather have Anna Elsa? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. But I know this type of bedding will like grow with her. So I don't know, that's why I picked it out and I loved it. And cottage core maybe is in her future. That's what I'm trying, I'm starting to pin for her room and I've got cottage core on the brain. So this is the after, I feel like it's clean and like the rug just moving the rug just changed so much and that little doll i just can't get over her rosy rosy cheeks and then of course the closet i got to putting her clean clothes away which was always nice i don't always get to doing that and uh, i'm trying to figure out like a storage system in here drawers are key with my kids and uh, these just are so shallow, but I love this piece. It's Pottery Barn. We've had it for, I don't know, since Avelina was a baby. So it's hard for me to get rid of. Any guesses on how long it'll take her to completely destroy the place again? <laughs> okay. So I have to highlight my favorite part. <laughs> Will she have nightmares? TBD. Okay, so far, so good. No nightmares. And I just got a little clip of her on my phone when she came home from school. I said, come check this out. And she, oh, she was so happy and so excited. Who wouldn't be? I would love to come home to like a tidy room and someone, <laughs> someone giving me new bedding and stuff. So it's the little things in life, okay? And then wouldn't you know it, we were looking at the tag to try to find a good name for her, but she did not like the name Margie, which is who made it. Um, okay, so I don't know if I shared this with you, but let me insert a clip. Alex found this doohickey, this humongous piece of furniture on the side of the road, basically in like going for the trash. I don't even know, just on the side of the road, okay? He's the king of finding for like just random stuff on the side of the road that's actually really cool. But let me show you a clip of what it looked like before we cleaned it. And spoiler alert, this is actually us in the process of cleaning it. <laughs> So we just had some uh, bleach water 
And oh my gosh, I don't know where this thing was stored. I don't know how long it was outside. Maybe it was just in someone's garage for 12 years, but we brought this beauty back to life. And I think it's so great. It's real wood. It's great quality. It's super heavy. And it's just a great spot for a storage system. And I Eventually, again, I will get to Wentworth's bedroom <laughs> once once we get going here, but I'm still trying to figure out like a good, I, I just need like a week where I could just focus on certain things, you know, so without being distracted by all, you know, life with five kids. So his closet, we will eventually get him his secret door and maybe some built-ins in here, but I also don't want to spend five grand. And if you think I'm exaggerating, I'm not. Like, those are the quotes that we're getting. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, okay. And so, yeah, we're trying to figure out um, a budget-friendly option. I'm almost there. I feel like I'm, I may have figured it out with Ikea, but then I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, just logistics. Because with Wentworth's door, he has one door. So then do we frame out his closet to have double door so he has more access to it I don't know but here's the end here's what I ended up coming out with just a great storage option for him and so his stuff isn't all over his room anymore okay well I got distracted with Wentworth's room <laughs> I'm sure I told you but we found this thing not we Alex he's the he's the king of finding stuff on the side of the road and I was skeptical that it would fit or not but look at that so until we get uh built-ins for his closet this will suffice <laughs> as a DIY built-ins, okay? Oh my gosh, we're trying our best to figure out the secret door situation without spending an arm and a leg. So eventually we'll figure it out. But until that happens, this is actually a great solution. This is huge. Great find, if you ask me. I am going to eventually clean the kitchen because yeah, it definitely needs my attention. I'm gonna make some homemade granola bars. Welcome to my homestead. Just a few ingredients. I used to make these all the time. Here's where I went wrong. I made them for me. <laughs> I would make like the kid version and then I started making adult versions where I added all kinds of dried fruit, all kinds of nuts and seeds and that kind of thing. And so the kids slowly tapered off of eating them because they didn't, they just wanted the chocolate chip. So that's what I'm gonna make today, like a peanut butter chocolate chip version. But it also has a little bit of flax seed, so I guess it's healthy. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually lining a dish. I was gonna spray this, but I already have this from making the cookies. And uh, it'll be easier to take the bars out. Anyway, I was just gonna do it, and then I did this in front of someone the other day. I don't remember what we were doing, but they were like, wow! So, it's one of the many things I've learned from Cordon Bleu. Look how it won't fit, like it doesn't stay, it's too straight, like it just keeps popping up. You can try to mold it and all that good stuff, but it's just gonna pop up. Instead, wrinkle it up, crumple it, and then it'll kind of take to the mold a bit better. So, it's a little party trick. Share that at your next party, okay? It's still popping up, but it's better. <laughs> My favorite is when I see people share hacks online, and I'm like, oh, that's a hack? <laughs> Weird. Either one, I've been doing that forever, or two, yeah, no way. I'm gonna do that because it seems really ridiculous. I'm sure you've seen plenty of them too. Okay, I'm starting off with half a cup of honey in a saucepan. I'm gonna melt these two together. You know what, I thought about doing this in the microwave and I don't know why I didn't. I guess I just wasn't really thinking. Three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. I'm just gonna pop that in. These will be ready by the time the kids get home from school. Perfect. So just combine these until they're just melted together. Okay, cool. It happens pretty fast and I'm just gonna Set this aside. Oh, it looks real creamy and dreamy though. So since I have not done my dishes yet, I'm just mixing it in this uh, bowl. I have two cups of rolled oats. Or I will have two cups of rolled oats. I've been meaning to make the energy balls, like with the M&Ms in them. My kids love them so much and I just haven't had a chance to make them. Two cups of oats. I also feel like quick oats are better for that recipe, but I don't have any quick oats. About two tablespoons of flaxseed meal. 
This is rich in omega-3s and a bunch of other healthy stuff. One cup of rice cereal going straight in. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm just going to give this a little toss. And then to the peanut butter mixture. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla to this mixture. Make sure that's fully incorporated. And then I'm going to mix it all in here. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh no, it's not it, obviously. Chocolate chips. It calls for one cup of the mini chocolate chips. I'm going to go shy, like barely half a cup. And then I'm going to put some on the top, even though I don't think that's really necessary. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, and I feel like if you want a thicker granola bar, just put it in a smaller dish, you know? So this is a nine by 13, and I'm just gonna smush it down. I greased my hands a little bit, and uh, after this, I'm just gonna let it sit, and then I'll throw it in the fridge. But I have to run to Costco. <laughs> Alex is having an event at the house tonight, and I totally forgot to get like fruit trays for it. He is getting other food, but I dropped the ball on my responsibility. Whoops. Yeah, I think this tray is way too big. Get like an eight by eight pan. If you want like thicker than a piece of paper bar, let me wash my hands. I'm just gonna take some mini chocolate chips and just drizzle them on top and then like press them down a little bit so they stick. Okay, homemade granola bars. Should we clean the kitchen before I run to Costco? The answer is yes. Always just tidy up before I leave. I never regret coming home to a cleaner space. And then also I feel like people are in and out all the time. And good thing I did because I feel like right when I came home from Costco, I cleaned some fruits and then we, I needed to head out the door to, uh, you know, get to Avelina's um, steam fair, uh, steam symposium. And then I needed to get Eleanor and Wentworth and it, it was, a, it's a whole day. Okay. Divide and conquer is what Alex and I did. He had the little ones while I got the bigger ones and vice versa and all that good stuff. So we're pretty good. We're a pretty good team when it comes to that. Good thing we're the parents. <laughs> so normally the kids take care of emptying the dishwasher at night, but on this specific day, I don't know what the heck happened that morning. I just had more dishes than usual and I needed to run it. I just needed to run it. So I emptied it and, oh, I don't think it would have been that bad because sometimes I just leave the dishes in the sink, but I knew people were going to be in and out. I didn't want to have dishes everywhere. So I just wanted to load the dishwasher. It doesn't matter. I just, it needed done and I did it and it's no big deal. Also, Alex's event was for like local small business owners. So um, they like take turns hosting. So about a year ago, he picked this date to host. And I don't think he realized that Easter would be early this year. Like there, I don't think he realized his uh, grandfather will be hosting his birthday party in a couple of days. So there's just a lot going on. And uh, we also have one of our nephew's birthday parties coming up. So it's just a busy week, but that's just life. It's good to be busy and we are hashtag blessed. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of crazy things. Next month's uh, Costco shop with me is gonna really be something, but I'm in the uh, produce section, which why do they do this, right in the bakery. I'm needing to get some fruit trays and such, but I saw these morning buns, nine of them. How much are these suckers? Nine bucks, a dollar a bun, screaming deal. Ooh, actually, what is this over here? Lemon blueberry loaf, nine bucks for that too. Oh my gosh, my thighs. No one is here, but the samples are popping. Got lentils and the quinoa rice blend and popcorn and a mozzarella ball with balsamic vinegar on it. Yes, 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 yes. And these pretzels, they're so dang good. I just thought they were salted pretzels. No, they're seasoned. They come in like a red bag. I already walked too far away, but wow, we'll buy next time. Wow, when I tell you I'm dreaming about those pretzels, I don't know if it was the carbs or the seasoning on it or just the perfect blend of both, but they were fantastic. I never gave those bag of pretzels a second look, but you better believe I'm gonna get some next time, okay? Uh, I came home and I'm just very simply, I bought already made veggie trays because I knew I didn't have time to like cut up my own veggies and do that for him. And same with the fruit, I, brought, I bought uh, several fruit trays and veggie trays, but the strawberries were such a great price it was like less than $4 for, I don't know, however much is in that huge container. So I bought a few containers of those. I know our family goes through strawberries like crazy. 
And it's always such a hit putting out fresh fruit like this. And I knew it would be minimal effort on my part because I knew just like this, I'll serve them just like this. I don't have to cut them up or anything and they get eaten. And so I just cleaned them up pretty good, threw them in a bowl and called it a day. And then I also got the cookies from Costco, which was a huge hit with my kids. I thought, well, what are we going to have for dessert, right? We always have to have a dessert. I got these cookies, but if you ask me, they are hor I don't like them at all. I don't know what it is, but I just, they're not for me. Okay. I'd rather honestly have my cookies, parent trap cookies, if you will. But you know, when you're feeding the masses, sometimes convenience wins and Costco bakery also wins. So I got a couple of bins of those maybe went a little overboard, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And I've seen people with these cookies um, put like ice cream on the inside and make their own like cookie sandwiches or ice cream cookie sandwiches or whatever the heck they're called. But I will say this dip clear winner of the night. I should have bought four containers of the dang dip because that went. That was like the first dip. people love. Oh my gosh. And I knew I, I wasn't going to be here for the event, but I knew I needed to get a little my, dip into my body. Do you know what I mean? It's the spinach artichoke dip. And oh, it is so good. I don't always buy it for us at the house because it's so much. So I only get it when like we're, I know we're having a bunch of people over and I won't be left over with like half a container of, you know, spinach artichoke dip to eat on my own. So I was so happy to get just some of that in my body. I'm like salivating right now for it. It's so good if you've never had it. If, even if you don't like spinach artichoke dip, because I feel like I wouldn't really, it's so good. So I'm just tidying up the bathroom real quick before I leave too. Whoa, wasn't that wipe satisfying? Also, what did I spray on the wall? I don't think it was this time. I think last time I was cleaning or one time I was cleaning, I used some kind of solution that was just way too powerful for the wall. And it kind of like, you could see where the drips from the, the uh, cleaning solution was. It kind of took the paint off. Like you could just tell the difference, but um. So yeah, those were like the drips on the wall, but I don't think it was from the cleaning product that I was using. I was like, what, what the heck is in this bottle? It's all natural. What is happening? But it cleaned everything off. It was just marker on the wall. I just needed to tidy up in there before people were going to be in and out using the restrooms and stuff. But this is the, gran these are the granola bars. Oh my heck. They so good. Did I say that before? I'm obsessed with them. I love them. Next time, maybe I'll throw some protein powder in there. Why the heck not? I don't even know. Oh, I think I've eaten more than all the kids at this point. The kids like them. I love them. And at this point, I'm kind of like hiding them away so I can eat more than they will. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about this. So I bought a new rug for our entry. A huge mistake. You'll see when I'm pulling it out. So Avelina and her friend are talking to me. So you'll see my face at certain points. It's very dramatic. They're spilling all the tea and I'm just like, what? I can't even believe. So stay out of the drama kids is all I'm saying. Okay. And uh, this rug, miserable. I don't even know what the heck. It's so miserable. Probably the worst thing I've ever bought off Amazon. I don't know. Oh my gosh. The second rug, I, the first rug I had down there, I got secondhand. Way better than this. First of all, it doesn't fit the space. It's too small. And it's like, what the heck? So I got to let it flatten out in the sun or something. Also, so I went to get the kids. They were staying with me to watch the STEAM symposium that Avelina was a part of, but they, you know, needed something to eat. So uh, we ran to Chipotle because it's delicious. That's what I grabbed. And then the kids had the kids meals. This, by the way, this is so good. Why is Chipotle so good? Listen, I don't eat out a lot, but I love Chipotle. It is the bowls are so good. Oh, and then I just grabbed a little snippet of Avelina. Listen, this was not for a grade. This was like, hey, I'm really interested in something. And oh my gosh, just some of the things that the students came up with. Amazing. Round of applause for them. I'm just always so impressed by all of the kids at her school. Just incredible. And also so proud of Avelina because she's amazing. So they did it on which tastes better, Chick-fil-A or... McDonald's nuggets and then they kind of went through the nutrition labels it was her and a friend they did it together and then at the end they they did something real funny and they also they were like hey if you want to take a screenshot of the recipe to make at home if you want to take a picture <laughs> please stand for our chicken dance
She's always so great, so charismatic, always making people laugh with whatever performance she's putting on. So that was really fun to watch. And uh, I learned so much with, you know, the things that other people were sharing too. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I didn't get to doing everything that I needed to do that day, but it's like, you can only do what you can do. And, you know, there's always tomorrow, hopefully. So that's it. If you want to, subscribe. I'm trying to get to a million by the end of the day. I'll see you next time. Bye.